hi everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to make a subscribers request the jerk cauliflower i'm also going to make some crispy fried cauliflower along with some vegetable fried rice so without further delay let's get straight into these recipes Here I have one head of cauliflower and I use about 3 4 of this. So what you want to do is to cut this in half and then you can use your hands or the knife to pick apart the florets. Now you don't want these to be too big or too small. You just want some decent sizes. So the next step is to clean these and make sure that you clean your produce properly before you consume them. So what I'm going to do is to soak the cauliflower into some water and baking soda for about 5 to 10 minutes and then I'm going to drain that liquid and give them a good rinse. In that meantime, I'm going to make a wet butter for the jerk cauliflower. So right here I have all the ingredients and the full list and measurements will be in the description. So go ahead and add those ingredients to a bowl and mix until you form like a semi-thick consistency. Once done, you should get a consistency like this. So the next step is to coat the cauliflower, place them on a baking tray and bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 to 15 minutes. While the cauliflower bake, I'm going to make a sauce. Now the full list and measurements for this sauce will be in the description. Once the cauliflower bake, you want to coat them with this sauce and bake again for another 10 to 12 minutes. Honestly, I underestimated this mild jerk seasoning because this was spicy, spicy good. So you might want to adjust the amount you see me use to fit your tolerance. So while that bake again, I'm going to move on to the crispy fried cauliflower. So right here, I'm going to make a buttermilk. Now this is just some unsweetened soy milk and to that, I'm going to add the juice of half a lemon. I also went ahead and add some salt and white pepper and you want to give this another mix and allow this to sit for about 1-2 to two minutes. In that meantime, I'm going to move on to seasoning the cauliflower. You just want to lightly season this because remember the wet and the dry butter will be seasoned as well. Once you're done, add the buttermilk, give this a good mix, cover it and place this in your refrigerator to chill for about 15 to 30 minutes. Yeah. 
in that meantime i'm going to make a dry butter so right here i have some all-purpose flour and to this i'm going to add some seasonings Now in addition to the dry butter, I'm also going to use some corn flakes and this is just some plain Kellogg's corn flakes. Now if you have breadcrumbs, you can use that as well. To kind of mask the corn flakes taste, I'm going to add some onion and garlic powder. So the next step is to remove each piece of the cauliflower from the buttermilk, place them into the flour mixer, make sure to coat them evenly. After that you're going to place them back into the buttermilk and then coat with the cornflakes. Once all the florets are coated nicely, it's time to fry them. You can always bake these as well. So I'm going to shallow fry these and you want to make sure that you fry these over medium heat for about 3 minutes on each side. You want to make sure that that raw flour underneath the cornflakes cook as well. Once the edges or the bottom part of the cauliflower starts to become golden brown like this, you know it's time to flip them. So go ahead and flip them and give them another 3 minutes on the other side. After another 3 minutes on the other side, you want to remove them and as you can tell, these are looking amazing. So what you can do now is to place these on a paper towel or a baking rack to drain some of that excess oil. So I went ahead and fried all the other remaining cauliflower and these came out amazing. They were crispy and so flavorful. here i have the finished product of the jerk cauliflower and if i want to really talk about flavor it's this right here apart from it being a little bit too spicy this was so good so let's move on now to the vegetable fried rice so these are all the ingredients and the full list and measurements will be in the description So after you have added the onion, the garlic and the ginger, you want to allow this to saute for about a minute or two, followed by the carrots and the bell peppers. You want to allow the carrots to become somewhat tender before you add the bell peppers. After you have added the turmeric, give this about another 1 to 2 minutes and then add the bell peppers. So what I'm going to do next is to lightly season this because my rice was already cooked in seasonings. Thank you. 
from the time you added the bell peppers and the seasoning should take about one to two minutes now after that you want to go in and add the rice After you have added the rice, you want to occasionally stir this and give this about 10 minutes. Once everything comes together nicely, go ahead and add the chopped scallion and give your pot another 2 minutes. Just for some added flavor, I'm gonna go in and add about a teaspoon of liquid aminos. And that's it, vegetable fried rice is just about ready. You can always choose to add more veggies of choice and season this to your liking. So everything is prepared and these were amazing. The one thing I must say though is that, and as I mentioned earlier, I underestimated the mild jerk seasoning and this was a bit too spicy. So if you have young children, I would suggest that you not give them the jerk cauliflower, but you can always, you know, adjust the amount that you see me use. So here's the final plating and I just have two words, beyond delicious. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all try and enjoy this recipe. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and stay tuned for some more amazing recipes.